prayed Wednesday morning, March 24th, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful dawning of an opportunity to praise his name, to worship him, to trust him, to love him. We are in the 23rd chapter of Joshua, and it talks about his farewell address. Now, we might not have a chance to make a formal proclamation of God's faithfulness and what we want to leave to the hearers and the listeners of our words, right? We, we are in the season of beholding and commemorating and reflecting on the Lord Jesus Christ's ultimate sacrifice. You remember when he was on the cross, he had seven sets of last words. And one of them, the first of the few words that he said was, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Ooh, we don't know when will be our last words uttered, but let that be part of some of the conversation or the speech. So that means to continually, since we don't know, that means to continually, daily, forgive folks. And just say, Father, forgive them. I know that they did me dirty. I know that this hurts, but my Savior went through way more. And if he can do it, I have the resurrected power within me. So I can, because I'm triumphant, do all things through him. So I can forgive them. I could love my enemies, bless those who curse me. I could pray for those who despitefully use me. Yeah, I could do all that. So our last words are important. Well, Joshua gave very poignant speech to the hearers, and it's still appropriate today. And it was really a cheer to direct our trust and our strength to our source. And there's like four verses that really stand out. And it reminded me of the first chapter of Joshua where he kept on saying, be ye only strong and of good courage. Have I not told you, be strong and of good courage. He, he repeated that sentiment four times in the first chapter of Joshua. Joshua 1, verse 6, 7, 9, and 18. Well, if we go to Joshua 23, it says in verse 6, Be ye therefore very courageous to keep and to do. All that is written therein. So I would say those 10 words, Be ye strong, be ye steadfast, it's hard out here. Life can throw us some curveballs and, ooh, what is this? But your strength is not of yourself, your puny flesh. You would wither and collapse and fall apart. But your strength is of the Lord. Because of today's date, we would have gone to Psalms 24. And like I said, we don't look to ourselves. But it says, lift up your head. O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. The King of glory. Who is he? Yes, he is the Lord, strong and mighty. That's where we derive our strength. He is mighty in battle. So with that in mind, we don't have to fight. All we have to do is wait and trust and listen to him. And the weapons that we have are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We have power only through him. Psalms 144 verse 1 tells us how we fight. Blessed be the Lord, our strength, our might, our courage, who teacheth our hands to war and our fingers to fight. We do that through prayer. We do that through praise. Yeah, we do that through worship, reading his word, uh, getting to know his owner's manual, fellowship, and listening, listening to him. 
for he's the captain. He's the Lord of hosts. So he's the one who's fighting everything, everything that is in our lives. Blessed is the woman or man whose strength is in the Lord. Psalms 84, 5, we would have gone to that. And verse 7, they go from strength to strength, from victory to victory, from triumph to triumph. Yep, because the Lord is both a sun and a shield. His grace and his glory is evident in our lives. And because we listen to him, because we please him, no good thing would he withhold to us because we walk uprightly, because we listen. So last words, Joshua said that only be strong, be ye very courageous to do. Also, he says in verse eight, cleave unto the Lord your God as ye have done unto this day. Hold on to him, hold on to his unchanging hand, not to anything else that changes People put their faith in this and that and this person that, no, cleave to the Lord. In verse 10, talking about last words, if I were to say this to my son, it, I would say the same thing and it would have the same power. Verse 10, he, it is the Lord who fighteth for you because he hath promised this to you. And verse 11, take good heed, listen very carefully. Therefore unto yourselves, that ye love the Lord your God. These are the last words that we can bank on, that we can hold on to, knowing that the Lord will be there right with us. He will, he's already made us victorious. Let's enjoy the victory of the Lord all day and for the rest of our lives.